Okay, so in this video we're working on the tail section of the cycle cart, uh, by Count Vincent Special. This is the fourth iteration of this car, so the second time, I've, third time I built a tail for this. So this is a new tail for the new chassis. Uh, we're starting with the wire form. This is one eighth inch wire rod. I've got three 12 foot pieces here. I think I could have used one more 12 foot piece just to fill in a few low spots. But this worked to form the tail section. Um, I basically fit it to the chassis to fit around the motor and I fabricated a smaller exhaust pipe out of, out of a new exhaust kit. So this is much shorter than the other one. The other one stuck out quite a bit. So the idea of this is, um, this is the new panels are gonna be held in place with Zeus fasteners. And if I take off the air cleaner cone, this whole thing should lift off right past the exhaust pipe. Lift it up a little bit, just pull it right out. Right? This is hard, but there you go. So it comes right off. Um, you kind of see this, I put a couple strengthening pieces in here just to keep it so this wouldn't walk around too much. Uh, I took this over to Ed Smoot's shop in downtown Phoenix, Smooth Engineering, and we made a tail panel for it. I'll show you that what that looks like now. So I'm at Smooth Engineering. This is Ed Smoot's place. This past weekend we did a metal shaping class. In the metal class we learned to use all kinds of metal forming machines. Planishing hammer, this is a neat tool for bending aluminum, or sheet metal. English wheel. So I'm working on my tail section. This is my old tail section. Uh, all aluminum off the previous cart. Here's my new one. So I've got this kind of far along already. Let's get this out of the way. Um, you kind of see there's a wire form under there, holding it all together. So got a little more shaping to do. I got a little bit of a low spot right here and a little more tuning up to do. Let me get this thing put together. We've already welded this part and tacked that up together. So the next thing is to finish shaping this a little bit and then weld these pieces together. So it's all one big piece. So the tools we're using for that are over here. It's the sandbag and the mallets. The shrinking stump was very, very useful to shrink all that metal. And of course an English wheel. So Harbor Freight would work, but this is a pretty professional one here. Um, kind of halfway through building this thing. So sorry for that. I just got excited when I was working on it and I want to stop the videotape. But uh, that's where we are right now. I'll have more in a minute. I'm going to trim this to make it square. So I've marked it with some tape. We're going to use this uh, cutter here to cut this. So make a nice straight line. That's the next step. You've got to reverse it. time here. Alright, so we need a nice straight edge. The purpose of that when we go to weld it, it's a lot easier to weld the straight edge than the one that's all wonky. This one's already been perfected, so it's ready to put on the thing and weld up. Here's a better look at the wire form. This is made of 1 8 inch rod, mid welded together on the cart to make sure it clears. Got a couple reinforcing rods in here to hold it all together. It's clamped in and welded to the table. He welds it down to the table to keep it from moving around. So we're getting ready to weld on this rear piece. So that's made from two different pieces, little pie pieces. We've been tuning it up so it matches up perfect around the edge. And uh, Ed Smoot's been very generous with his time to help me with this. And uh, we started on this on the metal shaping seminar last Saturday and Sunday and had a great time. So we're trying to finish this thing up now. And these are the top sail panels. We'll still need to trim down a little bit. So uh, I think we're going to get to welding next. We got it clamped on, ready to weld that tail on there. Tech City.
Good job there, Ed Smoot. Okay, so we got back from the uh, fabrication shop at Ed Smoot's place. We built the tail panel there. So we'll take the wire form off and uh, put the new panel on. So set this aside. So here's the new tail panel. I've already had a little time. I've cut a hole for the uh, air cleaner and the pull starter, and I cut a hole for the exhaust pipe. Still going to cut a hole for the gas cap, but that'll be next, and we attach the Zeus fasteners. Um, so let me show you what this looks like on the chassis. It's right over the top. There. Voila. There it is. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, with some aluminum, I'm going to put some pieces in here to kind of hold the tail out and hold it in place. So I'll show you what that is next. Okay, so what I did to fill in those side panels, I just took some leftover aluminum from the project. This is 050 3003 grade aluminum. Um, kind of made a template with cardboard and I bent it on the bench just put a piece of wood on top I hammered it down with a piece of wood to bend that instead of putting it in a bending machine it worked pretty good and I bent this down to cover the tail section so I'll show you what that looks like this is just going to go right here um, and just going to hold in place with a couple rivets along the edge and that's going to do a couple of things it's going to fill this in and it gives some place for the tail section to rest against I built one for their side so I'm going to go install those now and I'll show you what that looks like Okay, so I've got these little panels mocked up. Uh, the idea of this is just to give the shape, because it was, instead of having fasteners all the way down to keep the shape, because this thing wants to kind of curve in, I use just the edge of that aluminum. Uh, I might even put a Zeus fastener attached to that aluminum. I haven't decided yet. Uh, that'll be in the next video when I show you how we're going to fasten this thing. But I just want to give you the final part of this video. So there it is, boom. Now, I've got little index marks to tell me where to, to, to push it in and it stops on the body. So that's pretty much the final design. Um, next video, we're going to put some Zeus fasteners to fabricate how to hold it in place. And I'm going to finish trimming all this, all this off. But that's uh, another deal. This video is probably long enough. So we'll call that the end of this video for the tail section. Thanks for watching.